Hi everybody and thank you and welcome to our new YouTube channel at Elisha Mark Ministries. I also want to remind you we're on podcast and it's free for nothing at Word at the Ranch. We're on Facebook at Elisha Mark Ministries and Instagram as well so feel free to check us out and if you could just push the subscribe button right there and like this video and that tells YouTube that you enjoy Christian um, Bible teaching on YouTube so praise God thank you for joining me today. It is Tuesday we have a new YouTube video every Tuesday. We also air our service every Saturday morning at 1045 on Facebook. And um, again, our um, podcast at Word at the Ranch, that's every Saturday as well. And then we have our live uh, Facebook video, our meeting every Thursday night at 6 p.m. as well. So thank you for tuning in and just feeding your faith. And I believe you'll grow to new heights in Jesus and in knowledge and wisdom and understanding and a fresh spirit of wisdom and revelation will be released and imparted to you as you continue to submit yourself under quality teaching from the word so we give god all the praises for it for every available voice and outlet thank you jesus agree with me in a word of prayer if you will heavenly father we thank you where two or three are gathered you're here in our midst let us uh receive a fresh word in season let it go forth unchecked and unhindered from any outside force Speak through my lips. Use me, your servant. I am here for your command. We thank you, Lord, and we bless everybody watching. And to the sound of my voice, in Jesus' name, amen. If you need healing, Jesus is the healer. You just need to make him your healer and your physician, and he will come in and heal you. Healing is the children's bread. So if you're a Christian, if you've received Christ, if you've received Jesus, he is now your permanent physician, doctor, and healer. And he'll heal you every day of your life. You can live in divine health and prosperity. He's your provider if you make him that, your Savior and your Lord. He it will be whatever you make him in your life. He is God Almighty, the creator of the world. So praise God for Jesus, for God sending us his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish in any area of their life, but have victory and everlasting life in every area of their life. So we give God all the praises for that one. Again, thank you for joining me. We love you guys. Um, the title of this message is Promotion. Promotion. And a promotion, I like what Pastor Art Aragon said at uh, Heritage Family Fellowship in Placentia, California, who I'm ordained under. He said, promotion is simply a pro in motion. If you want to be promoted, you got to be a pro in motion. And if you'd like to turn there with me, uh, one of our Hallmark scriptures, this video is going to be only about 10 minutes long each week, Psalm 75, 6 through 7 says this, Psalm 75, 6 through 7 says, For promotion comes neither from the east or from the west or from the south, but God is the judge, and he puts down one and he sets up another. We see here that promotion comes from God, and a pro is <laughs> a pro, <laughs> promotion is a pro in motion. Let's see, Proverbs 22, 29 if you like to look at that, it says, Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will work for kings, not unimportant or mean people. I love that verse. Do you see a person skilled in their work? He will work for kings, not unimportant or mean people. And Proverbs 18, 16 says this, A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. And then we have Paul the Apostle in Romans eleven twenty nine who says the gifts and calling of God are without repentance, meaning God will never take them away from you. Your gifts and the calling he gave you, you know, your gifts and your calling work simultaneously together. God will always place you in a calling and use your gifts that he gave you to accomplish your calling. The calling and gifts of God are without repentance. Um, the Lord told me in 2005 to feed his sheep, and that works for me. Every calling of God will always carry a command with it. The calling of God always carries a command. So when God calls you to do something, it's like he commands you to do it and then gives you the resources, the gifts, and the talents to do and perform that calling with and to walk in it. Can I get an amen? So the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. And this is a key to promotion. To hone your gifts through a spirit of excellence we know that Daniel and David both had a spirit of excellence and God promoted them, same with Joseph, to new levels and new heights. God is in the exalting business, not in the diminishing business. Amen. God will exalt you and promote you. He's in the promotion business. You just have to hone your gifts and trust fully in the favor of God 
and that promotion comes from God and God alone. That doesn't mean we don't do anything and just sit back and wait on God. That simply means in the meantime and in the preparation periods, we prepare ourselves for ex exaltation and promotion. We prepare ourselves. We prepare ourselves. And Jesus also said this. He said, if you judge yourself, you'll not be judged. Um, a lot of us need to look within and judge ourselves. And if you're uh, prone to judging others, you need to really judge yourself because that's not biblical. The Bible never says to judge others. But the Bible does say, Jesus himself said, judge yourself, look within, judge yourself. Lord, David prayed that prayer. Lord, look within me and see if there be any evil way and lead me in the way everlasting, one of his psalms. So that's a great prayer to pray. We always go in first and judge ourselves. If you're in a habit or a rut, really, of judging others, it's costing you benefits and blessings. So you really have to go in and start judging yourself and looking within and saying, Lord, what areas can I tweak? I, I find myself judging others, which, which Paul the Apostle said brings you into condemnation, self-condemnation, judging others. And uh, Jesus said, if, if you judge yourself, you won't judge others. So that's where our first step is to judge ourselves, to look within. What areas can I fix? What areas are off? Holy Spirit, Word of God, show me which areas I need to work on. And that is a key to promotion, is honing yourself, honing your gifts, working on yourself first. I said this last week, Warren Buffett's attributed to saying the best investment you can make is in yourself. It pays a thousand to one. And that's good advice. The best investment we can make is in ourselves. As we grow ourselves, as we learn, as we put understanding, knowledge, and wisdom first, we soar to new heights. As we work on ourselves, uh, everything around us grows as well. As we are faithful to grow ourselves, not others first, we grow ourselves first, then others around us grow. Can I get an amen? So it's not enough to judge others. Actually, it's contradictory to the Bible, like I've said. We have to grow ourselves, focus on ourselves to change others. I said this last week, you have to become the change you want to see in others. You have to first be and live the change you want to see in the world around you. Amen. Amen. So it's vitally important to work on ourselves. It's vitally important to put personal development and growth first place in our lives. That will keep us from judging others and will keep us on the straight and narrow path to promotion. Can I get an amen? So again, Psalm 75, 6 through 7 says, Promotion comes neither from the east or from the west or from the south, but God is the judge and he puts down one and he sets up another. Promotion comes from God, going the extra mile, not just maintaining, but growing. Can I ask you a question? Are you maintaining and settling or are you growing in every area of your life? <laughs> it takes faith to grow by the hand of God. It takes the word of God for growth and personal development to flourish. And if you put the word first, you will flourish. I guarantee it. You will grow to new levels and new heights and God will promote you. Um, learning all you can. And are you really putting all your full trust in God? Are you putting the trust in God, which promotion comes from? Or are you putting your trust in man? Another question to ask yourself. Again, we're looking within. Another question to ask yourself, are you loyal and faithful? When others uh, talk about you, when others think about you, do they think loyalty? Do they think faithfulness? Because loyalty and faithfulness is a huge requirement in the kingdom of God to promotion. We see that all the way around us. Um, celebrities who hire people for service. Celebrities are, are um, really tactful about hiring people who are loyal, who are faithful. And good bosses and good people at the top, CEOs, who make a ton of money, are always looking for loyal and faithful people who won't steal from them, who are loyal and faithful to serve them. So are you a loyal, faithful person? When others think about you and your name, do they think loyalty and faithfulness? That's where we're trying to get to. That's what God is. He is faithful and he is loyal to us. And the more you become loyal and faithful to yourself, you'll become honest, loyal, and faithful to others. Amen, amen. It's the faithful that flourish. Jesus also said, faithful with little will make you ruler over much. So faithfulness is a huge key to promotion. Are you a faithful person in everything you're doing? Are you faithfully doing the menial tasks that you think are small? Or are you just overlooking them? Are you faithful or aren't you? <laughs> Do you stay with things? Are you disciplined? Do you not quit? Do you persevere? Are you a disciple? Do you stay disciplined in the word of God? Do you stay disciplined under those who are teaching? 
Do you stay disciplined under your mentors and your pastors and your teachers and your parents and the spiritual fathers and mothers you have? Are you faithful? Um, Deuteronomy 28 says um, that blessing is promised to the faithful. To make you the head and not the tail, above only, not beneath, takes faithfulness, integrity, loyalty, and honor. So I just ask you today to look within as the Lord's instructed me to as I am. Um, am I a faithful person? Am I faithful in the little things? Am I faithful in all that I do? Am I ready for promotion? And many people are yelling at God and they're not yelling at themselves. You have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Again, David had an excellent spirit and he said himself, I encourage myself in the Lord. So many people are so fast to encourage others to look outward to help others, but are they helping themselves? Are you growing yourself? Because if you grow yourself, everything around you will grow as well. I'm Elisha and Anzi. I approve this message. Thank you for checking in this Thursday. I'm sorry, this Tuesday on our YouTube channel. And thank you again for subscribing. We bless you and thank you for it. Also, I started a new book and this book covers this as well, Promotion. It is Excellence by Andrew Womack. And it's How to Pursue an Excellent Spirit. Um, it's said of Daniel and David, they had excellent spirits and they were promoted to kings and to high positions. And if you'll develop an excellent spirit, you can start this book. Read it with me. I just started it. Uh, Andrew Womack, Excellence. You can buy it online on Amazon. And um, just start that with me. It's a great read. And um, I believe as you study and, you know, absorb these resources, absorb good teaching, sound doctrine, that you will excel and that God will promote you as well. We love you guys and thank you for tuning in. Have a great week and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye for now.